So for people who have done this cast on before and just want a quick refresher, you have your slip knot on the needle. Have your um, hands like this, uh, just like for the uh, long tail cast on. You go under the first loop, dip back into it, and grab that strand under the first loop, dip back in, and grab that. And that is the twisted cast on. Hi, my name is Garmin and welcome to my channel, The New Leaf Podcast. I am the designer behind New Leaf Designs and in this video I'm showing you how to do the Russian twisted cast on. So you've just already seen a clip of how I do the Russian twisted cast on, simply for knitters who've already done it before and they just want a quick refresher. But now I'm gonna take some time for knitters who haven't done this cast on yet and really um, explain the cast on and also show it in more detail and a lot slower. So this cast on is perfect for ribbing. So uh, I've used it on these hats and it's my all-time favorite cast on for ribbing. Um, I've done the alternate cable cast on, which I really like for one by one ribbing, uh, but for two by two it's really cumbersome because you have to switch all of the stitches and yeah, I just don't want to deal with that. So uh, the Russian twisted cast on, it's really easy. There is no knit and purl with this cast on. You just do one um, stitch and you can use that for either knit or purl. So it doesn't matter whether you have one by one rib, two by two, three by one or whatever kind of ribbing you have and it's going to be very stretchy very 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 stretchy <laughs> and um also just very neat looks great so i am showing you this cast on on escapius stone washed xl um which is a little bit thicker yarn than the yarn i've used here which is escapius metropolis Scapies Metropolis, I just love it for socks, hats, and sweaters, um, but I'm going to show you on Scapies Stonewashed XL because I can knit it on larger needles and it will be easier for you to see. Uh, so for the Russian Twisted Cast On, you will need um, a long tail, similar to the long tail cast on. Um, and with the long tail cast on, um, I don't know if you've heard of this trick, so you have the slip knot and you have your yarn tail and that yarn tail if it's three times the length you know width or circumference of what you want to cast on you know if it's three, three times that then you're set you won't run out of yarn mid cast on but for the russian twist cast on you need a lot more i'm not exactly sure how much but um yeah i did it with three times the length first and I ran out and it's logical actually that you would need more yarn because this cast on is stretchier than the long tail cast on and more stretch equals more yardage so that's also why if you're uh, casting off um, and you're not doing the regular bind off but you're doing um, um, Judy's or is it Jeannie's the surprisingly stretchy by enough you need a lot more yarn and that's because more yarn equals more stretch so that is why so take your yarn take your needle um, take a long tail and a slip knot and let's go so you want to place a slip knot on your needle and uh, similarly to the long tail cast on you're gonna want a long tail you make a slip knot and you make sure that the the yarn going to the ball is on the top here and the yarn end is on the bottom here you have your both strands kind of like an inverted V you insert your thumb and your pointer finger underneath and spread and take the yarns in your pinky finger uh, in your ring finger and in your pinky finger just like that so your middle finger is not holding any yarn 
your thumb has the yarn end and your uh, pointer finger has the um, yarn going to the yarn ball. I'm going to um, grab my yarns a little bit tighter so I have more more tension and now when I look at my yarn like this you know you kind of see a heart uh, you see two loops uh, some call it rabbit ears um, it's very similar to the long tail cast on but instead of the long tail cast on we're not gonna just go underneath the first strand but underneath the entire loop and then we're going to dip back into the gap of the loop here okay and then we're going to take the first strand of the second loop and pull it through you're going to release the yarn on your thumb insert your thumb back under the yarn strand here and pull it tight okay so you go with your needle underneath the entirety of the first loop you go back into the loop you grab the first strand of the second loop and see how there's kind of this triangle here that we've created you take that strand and you pull it through that triangle you let go of this strand and pull this tight I'm going to show you a couple more times. Underneath the loop, back into it, take that strand and pull it through. Underneath the loop, back into the gap, take that strand, pull it through. And because this uh, cast on uses more yarn, um, it's going to be more stretchy. And you're going to see, well, they both kind of look like pearl bumps, but you can, the other side, the back side kind of looks like a pearl row. And then the front, well, it's not exactly like a knit row, but it's more similar to a knit row than to a purl row. So you can use this as the front of your work. And that is the Russian Twisted Cast On, which is very stretchy and just perfect for hats or cuff down socks. And I've used this cast on for my home hat pattern, which is a free hat pattern and I will link it below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.